Hey guys, it's Elle and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be attempting to build a Z-shaped house. Do you say Z or Z? Comment down below. Anyways, let's get straight into it. I split up my Z into a few sections. I don't really have a plan. That's the thing. So what I'm thinking is one of these can be a bedroom, bathroom, hallway slash living room, kitchen. I might take down one of these walls. Let's just start somewhere. I think we just need to start somewhere. I think first we need to start off with an entryway because I don't know where that's going to be. I think it would make the most sense if it was here. Let's do this. Also, the flooring is going to be a mess. So just a warning to put out there. How have I done this in like 10 minutes? That's ridiculous. If I were to do those timed challenges, I would get nowhere. If you think you can build better than me, you're probably right. I think what's missing is wall trim. Wall trim fixes all problems in Bloxburg. So I'm going to use this and then get some structural planks, something like this. I feel like using things I don't normally use. Like what is this? I've never used this in my life. And why is it kind of cute? And it's really bright. Whoa, this doesn't look terrible anymore. That took me way too long though. Okay, stop it. Why am I like getting creative now? Okay, this is pretty much how the living room is looking. There's no way this took me 40 minutes. That is sad, to be honest. I want to add something else actually. Like this is so cute. Okay, I think I figured out the whole living room situation. I love it now. Okay, I am obsessed with this living room now. Just kidding. I am officially obsessed. Okay, there we go. That looks so much better. So let's move on to this corridor, whatever. It's actually looking so nice. This is so out of my normal building style, but I love it. Why do I feel like this should all be here? Bro, I was not even following my plan. I'm confused myself. Can we make this work? It makes most sense. And then that way we can do anything here. Yeah, okay. Entryway is now in the middle. I decided to do a time lapse here because <laughs> something happened and I was literally crying. I didn't really want to speak in this portion of the video. So here I'm working on the bedroom. I decided to put the bed on some type of raised platform to make it a little more interesting. The door that you see to the left of the bed is to the bathroom. So I decided to connect it that way. I did not know this dresser existed. It's really cute. Yeah, I'm putting down some non-functional slippers. Uh, I put a laptop on the bed, so at least we have some type of electronic we could work with if we were to live in this house because we don't have a TV or anything. So we're moving on to the bathroom. We have quite a bit of space, so I decided to do some type of walk-in bathtub and shower area. It was kind of hard for me to figure out what to do with all this space in the bathroom. I think it worked out pretty nicely because I don't want it cluttered. I don't really like cluttered type of style. Just the other side of the wall is really plain. I tried paintings. This probably frustrated me the most. I added some shelving above the bathtub to fill up some space up there. This bathroom is probably one of my favorite bathrooms I've ever made. At first, I was a little skeptical of the dimensions of this bathroom. I didn't think it would work out as well as it did, but I honestly love it. Let's move on to the kitchen which is right next to the living room. Again, it was so hard to figure out what to do with all the space, but it worked out pretty good. We have all the appliances we need. I added this cute table against the wall for, I don't know, tableware and drinks. I mean, obviously there's no space for a dining table. The living room's right there, just eat there. Now I'm just adding a few final touches to other parts of the house, like the bedroom, I love doing this custom shelf that I made up myself. Super proud. I think it's kind of cool. I just hate how difficult it is to fill up space on a shelf. Like I have zero idea what to put on shelves every single time. It's either books, plants, and picture frames. I don't know. I tried to make it more bedroom like. It is time to tour our Z house. I promise guys I'm aware it's a Z not an N. Just the entryway is here because I did not really plan out the layout very well so the entryway ended up being in the center of the house which is quite odd. I won't lie. 
So if we walk in, we have this nice display. I don't really know what this is. I was trying to go for this new style that I have never ever done before, which is more elegant and realistic. I used some structural items to make the frames look like this. Bro, what are you doing? I might build off of this style for all my builds. Okay, so now it's raining. Pretend it's not. So here's the living room. There's no TV or anything, which is okay. We can read a book. But yeah, we have a couch and whatever this is, not considered an ottoman apparently. Yeah, we won't question that. And right next to the living room is the kitchen. Considering the amount of space I had, I'm pretty happy with how I used the space. We have all the appliances you need, a stove, a full-size fridge, sink. And heading back to the center, let's go to the other side of the Z, which is the bedroom slash bathroom. I feel like I have trouble. Okay, I do have trouble with colors. I feel like I'm not very consistent. We have a laptop so we can actually get work done in bed. Oh, no, don't do that guys, don't do that. Bruh, are you serious? And here is the bathroom. Again, I'm really happy with how I use the space, especially for this part of the Z because it's so narrow, you can literally do anything. So I put a bathtub in here. We have some storage. Let me know what your favorite part of this build is. I would say my favorite part, this washroom and the entryway. It's just so pretty. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet to become an elite. Bye!